everyone, it's Misato again from Low Low Cosplay and today we are finally back with a new tutorial and in this one I'm gonna show you how I made Bash leather holster from the anime Trigun, uh, Trigun Stampede. So uh, yeah, it was a commission so stay tuned for this one in this video and as, as always don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future it keeps the channel growing and the videos coming and without further ado, let's do it. So I got the 3D printed prop from the customer for our reference. And with this I made a test piece out of some cardboard. Due to the test I could improve the pattern a little bit. Now it's time for some leather action. I gonna start by transferring the pattern to the leather. After this is done I gonna rough cut it out so that I can handle it a little bit better for the final clean cut. In the next step I gonna wet the top edge so that I can polish the edge but I forgot to edge plane it first. So I will do it again later. And this is the moment I remember to round the edges so do it on the top and the bottom of the piece. Careful to not cut yourself with this. Then the bottom gets also treated with the edge waller or whatever the thing is called. For the indentation at the top I gonna wet the part first. After it got wet enough I use the other end of my edge wall and roll it with pressure against the line. A punching iron would be the better choice for it but I don't own one so this has to do it for now. In the end it should look like this. For the next step we're gonna punch some attachment holes in it. After these are in, I also do some holes all the way along the side for sewing. As you can see I have marked some guidelines on the inside for folding. I start by wetting one line on the in and outside. Now we can bend this part in a 90 degree angle. Here you can see a bit how it slowly wraps around the prop. And then we will repeat the same steps all over again for the three remaining lines to form a nice box.
and this is how it should look like. I have also made some simple strips in various lengths and thicknesses. So this thick strip will be the attachment for the belt later. And a smaller decorative strip will be then wrapped around later. Then I have this also already formed strip that goes around the bottom. On these two middle holes will be the leg belt attached. I also have made some smaller strips from a different softer leather to hold the D-ring on the belt and the prop at the bottom and top. Before I can assemble everything, I have to stain the leather. For this I gonna use the brown leather color and apply it with this cotton stick. Sadly the brown color was a bit too dark for my liking, so I sanded it later. I actually wanted to use another color, but the customer liked the look of it and so I left it how it was. Here are all the colored parts and now we can start assembling it. As you can see I have already attached a pressure button to the top and the long dark strip. I will start with the thickest strip by folding the top and holding it together with the rivet. In the next step I'm gonna glue this detail strip around and then set it aside for drying. Then I start working on the leg belt by adding the buckle. After this comes the D-ring that gets uh, riveted on with a small thin leather strip on the back side.
Now we're gonna focus on the main piece of the build by sewing the back side together with some wax leather yarn. I start at the top inside, come out of both top holes and then make an X before going into the next hole. On the inside I will go to the opposite hole where I came in and go out to give it a bit more strength. These steps get repeated for the whole back part. And this is how it turned out in the end. The thin bottom strip gets now riveted in, but make sure to attach the strip that goes around with it on the front side. Then we can secure the rest of it on the back side. As you can see I have added two rivets to the middle of the strip and with these the leg belt gets attached. The detail strip from the beginning should be dry now, so that means we can add the closing strip to it. After this is done, we attach it to the top of the holster. Now just put the prop in, close it and we are done. And it's now time for the final review. So this was a tutorial, I know it's not good, but it's okay in my opinion. And if you want, you can leave a comment down below what you like, what you dislike, or what you want to see in a future video. It's up to you. And sorry for the weird background noises because it's raining at the moment. Yeah, this is the only time I can film this. And yeah, as always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, because we are so close to the 1000. That means... Uh, apartment tour as a special and also a small giveaway and yeah don't forget to uh, thumbs up this video and share it with your friends if it was interesting for you and until then i see you in the next video have a great day and i'm out bye